How many times, guys, have you heard me say that over the long haul, the brakes always even out? Now, granted, when the brakes are going against you, you never want to believe that. But I'm telling you, 25 years as a handicapper, even longer as a gambler, I know that the brakes always even out. And last night, I had two go in my direction. As you know, in yesterday's video, I discussed the Tigers-Yankees game. I had a 15-dime series play on the Tigers plus $1.30. But... I thought that all went up in smoke when game one was suspended, the pitching rotations were screwed up, and instead I didn't even have Justin Verlander available for a pivotal game five last night in the Bronx. And I told you in yesterday's report that I had already bailed out on the series with a 15-dime play on the Tigers and Verlander at home in game number three on Monday, which I won. Last night I mentioned that I thought that, you know, it wasn't worth bailing out on the series at that point because to play the Yankees straight up or on the run line wasn't the way to go. In fact, I told told you that if I had to go with a free pick, I like the Tigers and Fister. Lo and behold, Fister, gutty performance for five, six solid innings. Uh, Joaquin Benoit, I mean, what a nice relief appearance. I mean, in and out of trouble, but came up with some monstrous big-time pitches when he needed it. And the Tigers win the game 3-2, to two, as you know, and I cash in with an unexpected, in my point of view, unexpected 15-dime a uh, winner on the uh, Tigers in the series plus a dollar thirty. So last night I'm watching the Tigers game. I didn't even bother with college football because you know I had my priorities. The Tigers and Yankees were on Fox or uh, no, we were on the TBS last night, right? And of course over on MTV I had Jersey Shore. Well, I missed last week's edition of Jersey Shore, so I had to watch last week's and this week's. And we had a lot of drama last night. You know the situation was causing hell again. You know Snooky, she was sleeping with Vinny. She was afraid to tell Joanna. Then you had to tell this one, and now I. I mean, it was just too much drama involving Snooky last night. I could not concentrate on college football as well. I mean, thank God the Tigers pitchers pitched so slow and took forever. I mean, it was like a four-and-a-half-hour game. It seemed like 40 and a half hours. But finally, the Tigers win. MTB is over. I go back to college football. Thank God I didn't watch the first half of that damn game with Oregon at home losing by a point. But as expected, the Ducks put it on and turned it on in the second half and pulled away. But again, here where we had the breaks. You know, I've been backdoored enough. You've probably been backdoored as well. Last night, I had a big play on Oregon as well. Uh, did you see the final play of that game, guys? The California quarterback who came in on relief, and I can't remember his name, but without a doubt, if I'm Jeff Tetford, I'm starting him from now on because Maynard, that short little guy they had at quarterback, the former Buffalo transfer, too thin, too small, doesn't throw a nice deep ball. But the guy coming in off the bench, considering that Oregon knew that he was going to throw the ball on every single drop back possession, right? Nice, tight, hard spiral, really, you know, moved the ball down the field across, uh, really has a nice arm, and he's 6'2 in the pocket. Really good-looking quarterback prospect. But anyway, last play of the game, he throws it up into the end zone. The California receiver's right there. He's coming down with the ball. I mean, it's right there. He's coming down, and as he hits the ground, the ball goes off the hands. I mean, we get the cover. If you had Oregon, if you had California, sorry, guys, the break went against you last night. I get a 15-dime winner there because Oregon's my Pac-12 game of the year. Those 15-dime releases, which match my highest-rated plays of the entire football season, college and pro combined, now 15-7 and seven, dating back to the start of the preseason. Oregon last night, Big Ten game of the year with Wisconsin over Nebraska easily last Saturday, and, of course, the Saints over Jacksonville on the road on Sunday. So, breaks definitely go my way, and I'm happy about it. By the way, in case you're wondering who this lunatic is, it's talking about Snooky, uh, Jersey Shore, college football, and the Tigers. Al DeMarco, you're watching my video today. Uh, I've got a money-saving discount coupon code that will save you $20 off of any single purchase you make today. A couple of free picks as well. want to quickly talk about uh, Chris Jordan. Uh, Chris Jordan tonight. Now, you know Chris Jordan, if he happens to be at the site that you're watching this video, is the winningest handicapper at this site over the past five, almost six years now. Uh, dating back to 2006, $1 players have won $27,970. Hell, last year alone they won $15,507. Tonight, he has his highest rated baseball play of the season. It's a rare 1,000-star play. How rare? He's had two of them all year long. He won them both. So that speaks to the magnitude of this selection tonight. Third 1,000-star best bet of the year. It's the Phillies Cardinals, your Game 5 winner in the NLDS. That's what Chris Jordan has going tonight. Also want to point out that Dom Chambers, $10 betters, have won $3,530 following his plays over the past three weeks. Tonight, 59 winner number four out of six on Boise State and Fresno State. Uh, your money-saving discount coupon code. Let's do Friday football. 
No space between Friday and football. Friday football, you enter that when prompted, you'll save $20 off of any single purchase you make today. One-time usage coupon, good today only. Friday football, no space between them. Friday football altogether, save you $20 off of any single purchase you make today. Hey, quick reminder before I get to the free picks, guys. You know I'm running that free fantasy football contest again. We're $300 of my money is at stake. Over at DraftStreet.com, you use my last name, DeMarco. Go to DraftStreet.com, enter DeMarco. That puts you into the contest. It's a free contest. You don't pay anything to enter. Free contest. $300 of my money at stake. Top seven. Top seven. That's what we have two hands for. Top seven. Finish in the money. Uh, <laughs> last week, I finished in the top seven. I should have won the damn league. I made a huge, huge mistake. Early in the week, I picked my team. You can pick your team today, and you have until 1 o'clock Eastern time on Sunday to finalize your roster. But I was traveling all last week, okay? Traveling across the country, then down to Tampa. I put my roster in. I went with Ryan Grant as one of my running backs. You have to pick two quarterbacks, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, etc. You have a $100,000 mythical bankroll to put together your team as general manager, right? Ryan Grant didn't play. They announced, I think it was Wednesday night, that he was not going to play. I never got a chance to go back in because I was traveling. If I had any running back that had two legs in the NFL that would have had a couple of carries, I would have won last week. I am so pissed off because you're competing against me for my money and thousands of others out there as well. So check it out, DraftStreet.com. DeMarco is your entry code. Now, let's talk about tonight's games. Uh, Arizona and Milwaukee. You know, I mean, uh, it's been a home team dominated series. You know what the Brewers did this year on the road, but the Diamondbacks are at home at Miller Park, but the Diamondbacks, not a bad play on the road. Ian Kennedy did not pitch well in game number one. I, I'll tell you what, you know, this is a funny game tonight. I mean, yeah, you can play the Brewers conservatively at minus 155 tonight, but if I had to play it, I just think that the Diamondbacks are going to deliver tonight, and I think Kennedy is going to deliver a masterful performance. I just have more faith in Ian Kennedy on the road than I do in Gallardo at home. But the thing that I'm also looking at here is seven and a half runs. I kind of like the game to go over as well. Now, as you can tell, I'm not in love, not enthralled with this game, not betting on it either. I mean, St. Louis Philly is my best bet tonight, okay? Uh, and uh, But again, you wanted a, an opinion? I think Arizona is to play. I also lean toward the over as well. Now, college football tonight, uh, you know, this is not a game that's worth putting my money on. I've got to tell you that right up front. Uh, Boise State did not look that impressive. Really struggled offensively last week at home in revenge against Nevada. 130-10, to did not cover. Kellen Moore, there's rumors that he's not 100% healthy, the Boise State quarterback. But now you're asking me, when they couldn't cover the number at home, to cover a 21-point number against Fresno State. I learned my lesson with Fresno State last week. I thought Fresno State was a great play. I used it as a secondary play last Saturday. I had a 15-dime winner on Wisconsin. I used them as a smaller 5-dime play against Mississippi. Now, you know Ole Miss has sucked this season, right? So Fresno State was a 3.5-point home favorite. They lost the game outright at home. I mean, I think it was 36-28, the final score. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> you lose to them after beating those cupcakes like Idaho and North Dakota. Well, that doesn't exactly inspire a lot of confidence in me. But the problem is, do I feel that comfortable laying all the points with Boise State against a Fresno State team that can put points on the board but can't stop anybody? If you put a gun to my head, I'd say Fresno State would be the play getting nearly three touchdowns. I don't have any opinion on the total, which is sitting at 58 and a half points. But again, I think the best bet is in baseball tonight. You know, I did that on Monday night, too, and, you know, managed to skip that Monday night game with uh, Tampa and Indianapolis, instead won on the Tigers that night. I think the best bet is the Phillies Cardinals. That's where I'm going tonight. Remember, Friday football gets you $20 off today. Good luck, guys, and I'll catch you again on Saturday morning.